Welcome to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke, and today we'll be walking through a sample test for a job interview. We'll walk through the basic questions you need to know and the answers to solve them effectively. So in our job interview, our task is to help calculate the annual salary increases for employees of this company. Our first question is figuring out whether an employee has been employed for longer than one year. If they are, they're eligible for a raise. If not, they are not. So I will add a column and put a header called eligible. Now I can use a simple if statement and say if today minus their hire date is greater than 365 days, then I will say yes. If not, I want it to say no. Now I can really quickly see all of the employees that have been hired in the last year are not eligible for a raise where all of the employees that have been working here for longer than a year are. Question number two. Salaries will be determined based on an employee rating. A's get 10%, B's get 5%, C's get nothing. I will add an additional column called raise bucket and use a VLOOKUP to pull in their raise amount. Lookup value will be their rating. The table array will be the lookup table locked in place. And then my column index number will be two as I want to return the raise amount from the table. I want an exact match, so I will use false and then fill that down. And you can see that my A's have received 10%, my B's have received 5%, my C's haven't received anything. Question number three, calculate the total increase in salary expense in 2023. I will insert one more column and call this raise amount. And I can use an if statement, so equals if eligible equals yes. Then I want the raise bucket multiplied by their salary. And if not, I want zero. I can fill that down and really quickly see none of my employees in the last year are getting a raise. None of my C employees are getting a raise while my A's and B's are getting the appropriate amount. So our total increase in salary expense will just be equal to the sum of our raise amount column, $94,324. Question number four, create a new worksheet with a roster of just the employees receiving raises. Please include a column to track whether they've been informed of their raise. Easiest way to do this will be to create a new worksheet. So what you can either do is click on this button down here to create a new worksheet or Shift F11 will also create a new worksheet for you. Quick little bonus tip there. If you go to your file and use alt a T, you can put in a filter. And so what I want to do is I want to filter for only the employees that are receiving a raise. So I could just go in here to this raise amount and I could deselect the zero. Now I can copy my new roster. I can go over to my blank sheet and I can paste it in. And now I'll just have a additional column called informed to say, have we told this employee about their race. And if I make this yellow, a really easy way to do this is with conditional formatting. So if I go up to the home tab and click conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to maybe we just call this yes, I can change this formatting to be a fill of white. And then maybe we want to make this italic, some kind of lighter gray. So it's obvious that they've been informed. I can go through and I can mark down which employees I've informed. And it's really, really easy for me to see which ones I haven't. One final thing you might want to do is auto fit the column widths, control A, alt HOI. And then if you have the time, just select this control one, clear the borders for now, and then dash inside border, I think always kind of looks nice. Mm -hmm.